very much. Austin police officers are out for blood, quite literally. Because of staffing shortages within Travis County EMS and APD, some officers are being trained on blood draws. Sam Stark provides some insight into the new program. Staffing shortages across departments are causing leaders to get creative. Creativity in this case involves giving some Austin police officers a new role. Uh, due to staffing issues with EMS and their inability to staff this volunteer program, uh, we were seeing a shortage and problems with uh, the blood draws. The Austin Police Department recently started a pilot program inspired by one in Arizona where officers can draw blood in suspected DWI cases instead of an EMS medic or a nurse. Blood is believed to be more accurate in detecting someone's BAC than breathalyzers. And if a person refuses the procedure, officers can get a warrant. Of course, we want to do it legally, and then the next objective would be to get it as quickly as possible. So far, only four officers are participating. Our goal is to ultimately have a local training here uh, whereby we can complete the training with all of our drug recognition experts so hopefully have 20 or so officers that are trained to do this. And APD says it's not really that different. The only difference is the person drawing your blood may be different. Criminal defense attorney Logan Campbell said the only potential concern with this program is if an officer is undertrained. If there's an officer who doesn't have specialized training, who, who doesn't have the certification, he can't just arrest someone for a DWI and then decide I'm going to stick a needle in you and draw your blood. But since these officers are being trained, Campbell said it makes no difference who is taking the blood. In fact, he thinks it will be a boon when it comes to trials. If you're having the arresting officer who is certified uh, to withdraw the blood, that does take away the added hassle of having to have an additional witness come in to testify. Sam Stark, KXAN News. And since the program began in late February, the four officers have completed more than 50 blood draws with a 96% success rate.